Right Now Celebrity Sleaze, presented by McDonald's. The best part about working at McDonald's is the people. Let us sleaze fram. Could this be explosive? A documentary titled Spacey Unmasked, Ooh. featuring interviews with multiple men sharing their experiences with Kevin Spacey, set to air as a two-part series in the UK, May the 6th and 7th. The documentary provides a comprehensive look at Kevin Spacey's life and career, including his rise to stardom and subsequent downfall due to allegations of sexual misconduct. There's a trailer for Spacey Unmasked. It was released over the weekend. This wasn't just some guy. This was Kevin freaking Spacey. I knew I was in a sell your soul situation. Is Hollywood being too quick to judge? Everybody coming out and talking about their lives. It's not something I'm interested in doing. Men go on the record about their experiences with the acclaimed actor Spacey Unmasked on Channel 4. Starts Monday at 9. Why are you trying to deprive us of quality trash TV, UK? Well, that has got to be picked up here. Come on. They're going to talk to the guys? It's, it's unbelievable. So if he is innocent, these guys are putting themselves out there. If he's not, then it'll be silent. This is creating a combustible. Oh, a combustible. Little spacey storm. It is. Unmasked. Kevin Spacey. Got to figure out a way to watch that. I don't know how to. I got to get my VPN warmed up. King Charles might not have time to meet his son, Prince Harry, during an upcoming trip to London. He's busy. What? Watching yeah, the Kevin like, Spacey special. He ain't going to go pick him up. Uh, come on. King Charles is too busy to see his own son, Prince Harry. But there are reports. There are reports that he might invite Harry and his family to Balmoral Castle in the summer to mend their relationship. So weird. A little drama continues for you in Atlanta. Kim Zolciak and Croy Bierman. They only have a few days to make a move or... They're going to lose their mansion in Milton, Georgia. Okay. Have you driven by there? No, I don't know where that is. I mean, I know where Milton is. I don't know where their mansion is, but th- I thought they lost it already. No, new legal documents are showing attorneys for their lender, Truist Bank, have set the date they plan to foreclose on the house. Now, they've already dropped the price. It was for sale for like $6 million in October. Now it's down to $4.5 million. Yeah. It's a steel barn. You can pick it up. Multiple times. They've they've dropped the price. They, they Unbelievable. Bought, what was the last one? Wasn't it just like a million and a half or something, or a couple of million? No, I think it says four point five. Prices prices are tough. Oof. We were we were driving through the Chastain area, and a house caught my eye, and and I thought, oh man, you know what? Maybe I want to move. Like I, I'm I, I'm like that. I make quick decisions. You do. And so I just remembered where it was, and I went back and pulled up. Um, what's the app with the uh, not Vimeo. Uh, Zillow? Zillow. I pulled up Zillow, $6.5 million. Ouch. Everyone laughed and threw things at me. I was like, I, I don't. I couldn't tell. I just glanced at it. Uh, I used to live over there, but not for that price. No, <laughs> yeah, no, no. Uh, it wasn't too far away from your house. Whoa. Your old house, Fram. Britney Spears has a love-hate relationship with IG. Guess what? On the heels of settling that conservatorship money battle with her dad... She's deleted the app. In a post, she talked about the physical injuries she got during her career and added, my family hurt me. There has been no justice and probably never will. Now you know all these rumors that she's spending money like water. She's out of money. Anyway, she's walked away from IG. We'll see what happens. Yeah, uh, it's uh, she's well, now she's showing back up. Where is she now? Unless somebody stole her name. Hold on. Uh oh, uh oh, uh. No, oh. this, oh no, this is her. Okay, now she's calling herself Zyla Maria River Red. That's her name with 42 million followers. Where's that name from? I don't know. <laughs> Let's do a little research. There. I thought she was gone. Now I just pulled it up and now she's back. Artist, mama, pray every day, chef in the works. Yeah, and we need to see our dancing Brit. Yeah, Zilla Maria River Zyla, Zilla. And there's a lot of cleavage. Every other picture is her and some sexual move. Uh oh, my phone is in the, my back pocket. Ooh, what's that ringtone? Who's calling, Fran? That's so important during sleep. That is so funny that I usually have it on silent. I is that Kelsey anyway. Ballerini? Who's calling? If it was Kelsey, I would have put her on okay. immediately. Was okay. it anything you should tell us? No. It's you, all good, okay. Barnes. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you saw this, but Wrexham FC owners Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhaney. Did I say that correctly? McElhaney. 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 
they have expanded their soccer portfolio. What? They bought a stake in Club Nakatsa, the, the Mexican okay. soccer club. Also, uh, Eva Longoria among the owners. They plan to turn the team into a, will they, television series? We'll see. What is going on with Ryan Reynolds? They found a smart niche to start investing in. Seriously. And, and it's paying. That guy's got phone companies. He's got vodkas, right, or gin or whatever. It's unbelievable. A lot. Conan, as in Conan O'Brien, was on the season finale of Hot Ones. He told a story from his writing days at SNL. He finished the episode by chugging a bottle of hot sauce. You're probably wondering how his stomach held up. So on the latest episode of the podcast, he shared an update. In true form, if you saw Ooh. this, you know Conan is all about the bit. Of course he is. Conan Must Go now is on Netflix, and it's him traveling to see like people who are listeners to his podcast, and he shows up unannounced. Which is it, really cool. It's kind of you funny. you got to do stuff for the show, but would you chug a bottle of hot sauce? He was chugging like the hottest of the hot and just doing it for the bit and then he's he jokes but I think he's for real. Yeah, oh. I did deal with it later. I, I was dealt with later. What, what, how did it manifest itself? Um, I, bec- I spot welded <laughs> I mean, an iron. I spot welded. We're all it. thinking the same thing. I spot welded. I went to. I went. I wanted it to be what useful. And how much did you? Sh- how much did your butt hurt? I decided that I wanted. After I ingested all that, I wanted it to be useful. So I found a construction site where they were doing spot welding, and I went there, and I said, "Gentlemen, if you want, I can weld these girders for you." In about, I'm guessing about 15 minutes, you'll need to avert your eyes because I'll be uh, dropping my pants. So there's a building in the Mid Wilshire district that's going up, and I, um, I think I did about 65 rivets in the building, and people were driving by saying Conan O'Brien's pants are around his ankles, and I think fire is shooting out of his ass, and he's welding a building. And here's the biggest problem. I, I had to join the union. Commit to the bit. It, what was funny is that he started trending on X and people thought he died. Yeah. <laughs> I love his podcast. That is your celebrity sleaze.